Apprentice, I see you've landed on Nar Shaddaa. It is, I'm afraid, the armpit of the galaxy. I want to make quick work of this place. Then you must remain focused. Nar Shaddaa is a planet of frivolity and distraction. Gambling, spice, rampant black market and gang territory disputes. But you are there to eliminate my spy, Agent Delicon. Normally it would be a trifling task, but Delicon has acquired a powerful ally. Why am I killing one of our own? Delicon was my spy on Nar Shaddaa, who fell under Republic scrutiny thanks to Noman Carr's Padawan. He's smart and figured I would kill him, so he sought asylum with a rival there, Lord Rathari, an upstart among the Sith who openly disrespects me. Rathari prefers a more blunt approach. The Dark Council has granted him dominion over Sith interests on Nar Shaddaa. All that's about to change. I would celebrate the day that nuisance was quelled. Agent Delicon knows much about my organization. I cannot have Rathari in possession of such a resource. Burn Rathari to the ground. Destroy everything he's working for. And kill Agent Delicon. They will suffer as no one has suffered. Haladrel Setson runs my slave operation on Nar Shaddaa. She has been a valued operative for many years. She is ready to receive you and can fill you in on Rathari's movements and interests. That is all. We talk me all day, darling. The exchange is moving in on this operation of yours. No amount of sugar gonna change that. Believe me, you're going to prefer the sugar to the spice. Take one step closer and there'll be two dozen Sith surrounding you. Two dozen? That's a dead giveaway, darling. You got none. One is all she's going to need. See? Not so smug now, are you, Captain? So you do got a Sith up your sleeve. Well, we've been trained to take out Sith. Time to flex our muscles. Muscles don't flex when they've been flayed off the bone. Let's see if you can back up that threat. Kill the Sith. You have a flair for dramatic entrances. I probably could have handled that, but uh, I'm grateful for your timing. You're the apprentice Darth Barris prepped for me, yes? You've figured it out. The obvious is my specialty. That's why I keep petitioning the Darth for a raise. Halidrell sets in. So you're here to take out Lord Rathari. Won't be easy. He usually just appears, devastates, then disappears. You'll have to draw him out. He's been making some major power plays and disrupting them will get his attention. You'd better be sure about that. You ruin his business, he's gonna want to chop you into little bitty pieces. First, Rathari's been strong-arming the Hutt cartel. From what I hear, they're close to signing over some important territories to him. He and his apprentice Girik are in conference with the Hutts at cartel headquarters. If you burst in, Rathari doesn't sound like the type to negotiate. You're right. He doesn't like talk, but he knows how to apply political pressure. The cartel is an imperial ally. Rathari can't just beat on them. He has to play diplomat. Unfortunately, the same applies for you. If things turn violent between you and the Huts, better if there's no one left to identify you. I'll do my best to keep the peace with our allies. The other possibility won't carry as many restraints. I've got a shipment of slaves to send out, but I'll be here if you need me. Good luck, my lord. 
You would be wise to bend to the great Lord Rathari's will. Sign over the specified territories before he loses his patience. Oyatuka Changa Kotupula to Potata Wanawanki. I am your other choice. I'll tell you who this is. This is the apprentice of an over-the-hill Sith named Darth Barras. Yes, that's right. My master and I anticipated your arrival. Where is your master, Worm? I am Lord Rathari's proxy in dealing with the cartel, and I will be his sword arm dealing with you. I have no quarrel with you, but Rathari must die. I urge you to stand aside and watch me dispatch this pretender. Maguta Polko Chopkin Wampala Hagwa Cha Porco Udmangisa Mitisa Rota Gopa Dr. Minchista Luca Ubez Borue Nimaka Kisorefi O You act as if you don't know how easily I could kill you. Mana Mana, you Eda Iki. You talk big for someone so obviously small. Fine, I'll unburden us of this intruder, but then you'd better sign on the dotted line. Possible. Lord Rathari will still be you and your master's downfall. Your master will be as dead as you soon enough. Unachi do need pitoki, sayo tupi no naviti. The animal is about to be put down. Word spread through the streets that Rathari's conference with the huts was invaded and his apprentice killed. Seems like you missed your calling as a diplomat. The huts are in a holding pattern to see what comes of your challenge. It's too bad Rathari wasn't in attendance. But man, I bet he's fuming. If he'd been there, his corpse would be steaming. All in good time. He's not the type to duck a fight. Rathari is also on the verge of taking over the Republic's base of operations in the upper industrial sites. With his work with the cartel dashed, he's sure to pour himself into squashing the Republic garrison. I will be there soon. Even if Rathari isn't there, when his operations are all thwarted, I know he'll come to you. A confrontation will be inevitable. Men, fall back! Rally here! My lord, what is the meaning of this? We are on the verge of striking a major blow to the Republic. I am General Clinton, commanding on the authority of Sith Lord Rathari, appointed to Nar Shaddaa by the Dark Council. Why do you attack the Empire's men? Where is your master hiding? 
He is attending to other matters. You belong to Darth Barras. I was given instructions to destroy you if you were foolish enough to show your face here. You'd be wise to ignore those instructions. No, I think not. You are surrounded, and we far outnumber you. Full attack! Sir, the Sith's strength has been spent obliterating our enemy. We should strike while there's a chance. After that display, Weglin, I believe fighting should be our last resort. Stay back and cover me. Sith, I am Commander Nolan. I'm in charge of this defensive. I'm unarmed. You risk March approaching me weaponless. I doubt that a blaster would save me. We do not wish a fight, but we also cannot relinquish this area. What are your terms? You live only by my good grace. I may have need of you someday, and you will repay my mercy. Very well. If your mission does not conflict with Republic interests, I pledge to help you. Here is my hollow frequency. I will answer your call. You have my word. Until we meet again, Sith. Men, the battle is ended. Attend to the wounded. My lord, my base! My base is under attack! The last of my men and I are holed up in the command center. But the doors are about to give! I'll be right there, Halidrell. Try to hold on. Do the best I can! But I... I've got a bad feeling about this! Ah! The command center's been breached! I've never seen such power. Oh no. It's clear Darth Barris failed to inform you exactly who you'd be crossing. This demonstration should make up for that deficiency. You want Agent Delicon. You want me. I won't be hard to find anymore. I'm on the roof of the satellite platform in network access. If you dare show, I will grant you a duel to the death. Be honored. My lord, if I may, I smell an ambush. Commander Narlan and his men owe me their lives. I mean to collect. Hail him, now. Yes, my lord. Patching him through now. I had a feeling you'd call, Sith. Can't say I'm looking forward to this. Keep your insecurity to yourself, Commander. I only hope that what you ask will not undermine the Republic. The soldier pays his debts. Tell me what must be done. Lord Rathari, I presume. Finally, we come face to face. Ah, you showed. You lack your master's caution. I applaud that. Delacon, Barris's lackey is here. So, say your piece, and do it before I kill this would-be assassin. Barris is insane and paranoid. I was a faithful servant, and my cover was intact. Did he expect me to accept being murdered for reassurance? Just wait for death?
You knew the risks of the job when you took it. And how to avoid them. Lord Rathari protects me now, and all of Barris's secrets will be his. In a hundred years, when I am legendary within the Sith, your and Barris's deaths at my hands will not even be a footnote. However, I would never lower myself to duel a mere apprentice such as you. You haven't earned the honor. A Sith Lord should be a man of his word. So naive. Lies and deception are important weapons in every Sith's arsenal. These men are my elite guard, trained to take on Sith. Half of them could kill you, but I don't like to play favorites. Your men are going to be a little busy with my men. That's the signal, men! Let's go! I see now. I've underestimated your resourcefulness. Men, make quick work of these Republic fools. Attack! witness such raw power. The day and the planet are yours. I freely pass the scepter. The threat Delacon posed to you and your master has died with him. I hope it ingratiates me in some way. Thank you for ending that miserable wretch for me. It's my fault he lived as long as he did. It's clear to me now. Someday you will rise above your master. It is you, not I, who will be Darth Barriss's end. Grant me mercy, so I may live to see it. Honor me with some small hand in it. I've killed enough today. Make sure I never hear from you again. You have clipped my wings, humbled me. In one fell swoop, my boldness has been dashed. I relinquish my station on this planet, and within the Empire. If you ever show yourself again, you're dead. All right, Sith. Now no one's left but you and me and my men. Your objective has been met. May we go. You have served me well, Commander. Leave in peace. All right, men. You heard the Sith. Let's get back to our neck of the woods. It will be good to get back to the ship and leave this planet. Fond of Narshadar, Quinn. It's not often I agree so vehemently with Darth Barris. This place is indeed the armpit of the galaxy. Let's be on our way. When we arrive back at the ship, I'll prepare it for flight. You have done well, my apprentice. Delacon eliminated and Lord Rathari dispelled. This will be a day long remembered. The loss of Haladron Sitson is unfortunate, but the ends far justify the means. She served you honorably, Master. I had a soft spot for her as well. You have successfully eliminated both of my compromised agents. 
The time has come to set our sights on Numen Kar and his gifted Padawan. It seems our adversary is of like mind. Your efforts have not gone unnoticed. Numen Kar has been busy. Enlighten me, Master. It appears your ship is being tracked. A very sophisticated sensor is reporting your every movement. I've traced the signal to a spaceport in a sector not far from you. I'm sure Noman Carr is involved. Send me to this spaceport. Perhaps Carr is there and I can end this. Noman Carr is a master of the Jedi arts. Do not take him lightly. I've sent the coordinates to your mainframe. Head there immediately, dock with the station, and make a lasting impression. What seems to be the trouble, Hirosho? Tell me why you're so concerned. Master Carr, you promised we would be undetected, but the ship we've been tracking for you is here. Calm your fear, Hirosho. It will not serve you. I will speak with your visitor when the time comes. The time is upon you. I'm here. Say your piece. Ah, uh, okay. You never told me we'd be tracking a Sith. You were provided the details necessary to perform your duties. Now please, remain quiet. Sith, I presume you are Darth Barriss' new apprentice. I am Jedi Master Norman Carr. Do you know me? You're my master's sworn enemy. Barriss and I like to keep tabs on each other, so when I heard of a new apprentice, I investigated. These men were merely monitoring the equipment, following orders. There's no need for bloodshed here. My quarrel is with you, Jedi. These men need not suffer. Your temperance is remarkable. Hirosho, please leave with your men immediately. Thank you. Thank you, Master Carr. And you as well, Sith. Get out of here. Now that they're safe, I'll speak plainly. I know Barris has spies, and I know you were sent to extract two of them before they could be exposed. But I'll soon have the proof I need. Barris' spies can't hide for long. Call off your vendetta and I'll spare your life. Jedi do not succumb to vendettas. That is for your kind. Forgive the earlier deception, Sith, but now that Hirosho and his men have escaped harm, I must neutralize you immediately. These troopers are among the Republic's finest. Surrender, and the Jedi Council will be lenient. You're digging your own grave. You leave me no choice. Men, take the Sith in, by any means necessary. has found himself a singularly vicious weapon in you. This experience has given me valuable insight. I'll be prepared for you next time, Sith. I'll wait right here, Carr. Come and face me now. Jedi do not seek out a fight until we meet again. Apprentice, now that Noman Carr realizes that we seek his Padawan, there's no time to waste. He claimed the girl on her home planet of Alderaan, and she trained on Tatooine. I have agents on both planets digging up leads. Find the people who know this girl. Someone means enough to her to make her come out of hiding.
I will obliterate everything she knows. I am confident this is how we will prevail. The Padawan's training is incomplete. She is susceptible. The anguish you cause will flush her out, and you will kill her and her master. As you decree, my lord. This will be a great test for you, apprentice. You have yet to face a Jedi master. The righteousness and passionless demeanor is nauseating. And Noman Kar is no ordinary master. Confronting him, you will find profound fortitude and hate. Or you will falter. I will not falter. My hate knows no bounds. Just be sure it serves you. Be off then. Tatooine and Alderaan await. Discover this Padawan's identity and destroy her. What does family mean to you? I mean, does it have to be the people you're actually related to? Bloodlines are what define us. That is family. I don't know. Maybe. I suppose my mother and sister will always be the most important. When I was working for Noctrayan, doing the pirate thief thing, he had a daughter my age, Risha. It wasn't like Nock was super sweet to her or anything. But he'd call her princess, and I wished I was her. You've only spoken of a mother and sister. What happened to your father? Dead. Enslaved. Disappeared. We never really knew. Maybe that's why I wanted to be Risha. Risha was smart and strong. She knew how to do everything around the ship. And I went everywhere with her. Suddenly I had a sister again. For years it was Risha and me against the galaxy and anyone who gave us grief. Did you drift apart? Start to fight? Nothing like that. Eventually... Nock hatched some secret plan that I couldn't be a part of. One that apparently got them both killed, but for a while there, I really was happy. <sighs> Enough of that. My lord. I have been working on something in my spare time. You may be interested. Go ahead. Regale me. Years ago, I was zeroing in on a notorious SIS agent called Voleran. When Moff Broisk recalled me to the Battle of Druckenwell, I had the spy cornered. I briefed Broisk so that he could send someone else to take Voleran out. He ignored the opportunity. This moth is starting to sound like a chronic screw-up. That is not for me to determine. I will say this, though. Since then, Voleran has gone on to wreak havoc against the Empire. One missed opportunity has led to a decade of unnecessary losses. I know Voleran's signature. And by tracking his accomplishments, I've picked up his scent. It is imperative that you track him down. Very good, my lord. I'll keep you abreast of my progress.